Hello and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rajni Sharma and in this video I am going to explain you about the DNA replication. In my previous video I have already explained the DNA replication. If you have missed that then don't worry you, have, you can get that link from my description. So let's begin. A cell generally has only one or two sets of genomic DNA. Damaged proteins and RNA molecules can be quickly replaced using information encoded in the DNA. But DNA molecules themselves are irreplaceable. Uh, there are many processes in which DNA get damaged. This can be spontaneous, environmental and replicative. If DNA do not get repaired, rather there is a permanent changes in the nucleotide sequence, then it is considered as mutation. Mutation can be silent but rarely confer some biological advantage. Now let's begin with the first type of repair system, which is a mismatch repair system. In this, what happens? After the replication fork passed through the, to the parental DNA, then the parental DNA get methylated. This condition is known as hemimethylated conditions. This thing I already have explained in my uh, previous video, which uh, you can get that from the link in my description. So I'm not going to explain this one in detail. After the completion of replication, the offspring strain also get methylated. It is assumed that during methylation process, many of the repair systems occur. So let's see how it occurs. Suppose there is a, a mismatch repair in DNA so that it will appear as a lesson. Then after the two protein mute S and mute L will bind with the, uh, at the lesson area with the help of ATP molecule and then mute H protein will bind uh, one side with the methylated uh, base and one with the uh, other side with the other methylated base. Then it will form loop around the region where lesson is present. Then there are two, two possibilities will occur. First is that if uh, the lesson is on the 5' prime side then with the help of ATP molecules DNA A helicase 2 exonucleus 1 or exonucleus 10 will form uh, will uh, lead to the, cut, the removal of lessons and then with the help of DNA polymerase 3 and SSB protein the whole DNA sequence will be repaired but if the sequence will be on the 3 prime side then with the help of ATP DNA helicase 2 exonucleus 7 or reg G nucleus will cut down out the lesson and well with again with the help of DNA polymerase 3 and SSV protein it will repair the DNA strand. Now the best excision repair. Every cell has a class of enzymes called DNA glycosylases that recognize particular common DNA lessons and remove affected best by cleaving the end glycosyl bound. This cleavage creates a apurinic or apyrimidinic site in the DNA, commonly referred to as an abasic or AP site. For example, uracil glycosylase specifically removes from DNA the uracil that results from a spontaneous deamination of cytosine. Similarly, DNA glycosylase recognizes and removes hypoxanthine, which rises from adenine deamination. Let's see how it happens. Here in the rectangle, this is the mismatch. Sorry, if it, it's a, uh, it needs to be repaired. For that, first of all, DNA glycosylase remove this uh, pair. Uh, sorry, this uh, nucleotide base. But it's not that uh, it is not possible that only this base pair will be replaced by the other uh, other one. So then after. Uh, AP endonucleus will cut at that site and then uh, uh, it will be removed out. After that, polymerase 1 will replicate the whole of the DNA and then the uh, nick is uh, held with the help of DNA ligase. That's how this process continues. 
nephrotide axis and repair. DNA lesson that cause large distortions in the helical structure of DNA generally are repaired by the nucleotide excision system, a repair pathway critical to the survival of all free living organisms. In this repair system, a multi subunit enzyme hydrolyzes two phosphodiester bonds, one on either side of the lesion. In E. coli and other prokaryotes, the enzyme system hydrolyzes the fifth phosphodiester bond on the three prime side and the eighth phosphodiester bond in the five prime side to generate a fragment of 12 to 30 nucleotides. In human and other eukaryotes, the enzyme hydrolyzes the sixth phosphodiester bond on the three prime side and the 22nd phosphodiester bond on the five prime side, producing a fragment of so 27 to 29 nucleotides. For this, uh, put uh, uh, enzyme is involved in which it has two unit of UVRA, one unit of UVRB, and one unit of UVRC. This is known as ABC exe nuclease. It first scans the DNA and bind with the DNA lessons. Then UVRA is removed and UVB bind to the UVRB and it will cut at the at these two uh, at the strand of the lessons at the eight base pair and five base pair. Then this DNA lessons will be removed out and DNA polymerase one will synthesize the strand. After that, DNA helicase sorry ligase will uh, join uh, or fill the gap. After that, it gets repaired. In eukaryotes, same process will continue. Only the difference is that DNA polymerase uh, epsilon will be used instead of polymerase 1. Direct repair. Several types of damage are repaired without removing a base or nucleotide. For example, direct reactivation of cyclobutyl pyrimidine dimer, a reaction promoted by DNA poly, uh, for photolysis. This all was in my this video. In my upcoming videos, I will explain about the DNA recombination. So don't forget to subscribe and, my, and share my channel. Till then, goodbye and be yourself.